right there where the actual snipe takes place, we're gonna split the clip and we're gonna put a screen shake to right about there. So we just split it again by hitting S and S again to split again. Just gonna move this out of the way and then we're gonna hit hold control and drag it out which will slow it down and slowing it down will make it just, just a lot gonna be a little bit nicer and we're actually gonna drag a little bit of it out to overlay so it fades into the original clip from fast to slow mo or from slow motion to regular to real time again and here we're gonna hit control C and right above control V delete the extra audio that got added in and now we have two layers of it so and to make the screen shake seem a little bit more real whenever you have two of them on top of each other and they're moving a different a bit different it makes it seem somewhat like a motion blur and say you're gonna wanna uh, actually crop that in a little bit see how you got that little blurs going so actually we're gonna go ahead and set our first layer to default and then or that'll be our first keyframe so it actually goes into it a little bit and it's not just right in there so and then looks bad now on the next keyframe we're just gonna move it a little bit just keep doing that and moving it around so we just looks like the screen's moving around pretty much all screen shake is is just keyframes of moving the actual video from side to side left to right however you want your shake to be I mean, it's a personal preference type thing and here's a little bit of that I mean it does that is kind of very slow so we're at, we don't even need it that slow so we're gonna go ahead and trim that down or I mean you hit control and then drag it trim it and that'll make it play a little bit faster and then we're actually gonna fade this one in a little bit and if you overlay it over the top a bit it'll actually fade it in a little bit nicer I mean it's not really gonna show up I know it's so it's just, that's all it's really gonna be is that light and then there's the shake now on this on this bottom one you're gonna want to do pretty much the same thing with cropping it. You could use the same ones above, but I'd rather just do a whole new set that way. They're not the exact same, so it's more of a, a blur as it's moving. And there, we'll go right back to default. This is going to be right around 50% top layer all you do is grab up here and you just drag it down so it's just like this and you're going to move it down to about 50% that way you got that blur going on and it just looks like you have a motion blur pretty much and then right there is the beat you're going to want this explosion to be this is the explosion track from earlier so overlay that quite a bit so it fades in so it's not so because if you don't fade it in the way like this with like uh, just the fade in transition I mean it's not going to really do anything other than just take it from the extremely slow that it was to back to normal speed and not look very very choppy this I mean you're going to want to do a little bit more of a fade also it goes away and maybe even a little a little bit more of a fade in. And now, I mean, you can add some color effects. Like, let's just go into the video effects and we'll add some sort of brightness, maybe. Um, just make it a little bit brighter. I don't really want to. See, there will give it a little, like, a, almost like a heated look if, when you mess with the contrast. So we can just try and play that back. So as you can see, I mean, it does look like a pretty good screen shake. So now we're going to go ahead and play that back just so you can see.
Alright, thank you again, and be sure to check out BYGForum.com for more videos like this. Thank you, and goodbye.